So more information has been dropped on mods and with lots of confusion out there amongst the community I thought I'd make an additional video uh, on what else we've learned so far and an actual reply from Bungie in regards to certain loadouts that are possible. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I've made a few videos discussing mods and also discussing the fact that Bungie did indeed tell a few porkies, i.e. lied about us being able to look the way we want and use the perks for the setup we want. Well, it seems in fact, people, this may indeed be possible. We may indeed be able to look the way we want and use the mods we want. So where did this start? So initially we learned certain weapon mods are tied to energy elements and although it has now been confirmed by Luke Smith of Bungie that legendary armor pieces can indeed drop with random elemental energies which is great news but even if this is the case we are still limited to setups we can use because now of the fact we are seeing it seems a lot of perks are restricted to gauntlets and things like scavenger perks are restricted to leg armors so with this it seems as though it won't be possible to use a setup where we have gauntlets which have both a reloader perk for hand cannons and a shotgun or a pulse rifle and a sniper or an also rifle and a shotgun or sniper because these individual weapons are tied to different elements and you can see that on screen now. We see that with solar we have fusion rifles, linear fusions, auto rifles, submachine guns and rocket launchers. Those are tied to solar energy armor pieces. Void energy armor pieces we have hand cannon perks, scout rifles, sidearms, grenade launchers and sniper rifles. With arc energy armors, we have shotguns, balls, LMGs, and pulse rifles. So with individual weapons like these tied to individual energy elements, many people amongst the community thought loadouts were restricted. And I actually thought this initially too, but Luke Smith of Bungie cleared this up a little for us on Twitter yesterday. This is what he said. This thread is about reloader perks and also mods more general in armor this fall. In part two of his gigantic gigantic posts he talked about hand cannon mods which can be socketed into void armor for through energy i should have also discussed that there are general mods like small arms loader these general mods which provide the exact same effect as a hand cannon reloader but also affect other small arm weapons cost four to five energy depending on the mod and do not have an elemental affinity associated with them these general mods, of which there are 11, are unlocked for everyone automatically, so you can start to tinker right away. Basically, when you want to specialize your weapon, it requires matching your armor's energy type, and then you get an energy discount on socketing the mod. So Luke Smith referring to hand cannons on Twitter states basically that if you direct your armor loadouts to individual weapons, mods will be tied to certain elements, which we know. But if that isn't the case, there are mods that reflect all weapons but cost more points to use on said armor pieces as they don't require a certain energy element. And there are 11 of these mods in total, which will be unlocked from the get-go for us to play about with. Now, the 11 mods he mentions, he doesn't go into detail about. And with these 11 mods, I do hope they cover all areas of weapons like scavenger, unflinching and so forth. And I've actually gone back over the recent stream and figured out all 11 mods he's talking about and it's good news and we'll get into that in a second. But as you can see on screen now, this gauntlet piece, and this is how it works, if you wanted to use a hand cannon loader seen here, this will cost you 3 of your 10 energy points. Enhanced hand cannon loader will cost you 5 of these points. Now if your second weapon in your setup is a shotgun and you want a shotgun reload perk, we see large weapon loader covers this but costs 5 additional energy points. So certain loadouts do seem possible but like I said there are many more loadouts people want to use that cover more than just reload perks. So let's hope Luke Smith said with these 11 additional mods they cover all areas of said perks. And it's good news people. Now going back over the stream it seems as though we do have these perks which cover a variety of weapons for target acquisition. Two seen here. Reload perks as we see light weapon loader, rifle loader and heavy weapon loader. We also see unflinching perks too. And guys we also it seems have dexterity perks which do the same. Now these perks, these 11 perks, the two target in acquisition mods, the three loader perks, the three unflinching perks and three dexterity mods. 
11 in total, are not tied to any certain element. So we can indeed use the loadup we want to use. It's just a case of mixing and matching said mods. Now something else I noticed, which it seems no one else has actually spoke about, is in fact, dexterity mods are like specific weapon mods and tied indeed to their corresponding energy elements. So here we see the machine gun dexterity mod with its elemental icon on it, that being arc. But going back over footage from the Vidoc about a month back, we got a quick glimpse at the artifact, which reveals that this includes weapon mods too. Like here we see push rod for dexterity. And because it seems the artifact is just another addition to adding extra perks or mods to our loadouts, there's a whole host of other options I believe that will be available to one's loadout with the artifact. So rest assured guys, as I know reading a lot of people's opinions on Armor 2.0, many are still confused about what's actually possible to do with your loadout. But after seeing just a minute bit of actual information and putting two and two together, I can guarantee you guys the new system will be as good as we initially thought it could be. And in reality, we won't be limited in making the perfect loadout. It's just said loadouts do come at a cost. And that cost, in my opinion, is a great, great thing. But yeah guys, I hope the video clears a lot for you. If you know anyone still confused about the matter, feel free to share this video with them. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video guys. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.